already have completed calculating the binomial coefficient making change problem okay then uh, then we'll go for the knapsack problem okay you have a knapsack already you know what is knapsack problem now we have a bag and you can carry 10 kilograms only and you have three denominations three types of uh, item weights are 6 kilogram 5 kilogram 5 kilogram and values are 8 rupees 5 rupees 5 rupees now here uh, we can't take the portion of the item okay you can't take the portion of the item means we cannot break now if you use simple greedy method what will happen you can select so value value per weight so value per weight is 1.33111 you have to select this particular item now you have if you have select this one so 10 minus 8 10 minus 6 4 kilograms are there so 10 minus 6 4 you have and value is 8 now the remaining weight is 4 but you have only 2, two 5 5 kilograms uh, items now we can't take this one and this one and you have to return so if you apply simple greedy method you will not get the optimal solution okay so if in this case also we have to apply dynamic programming so you can see here if your bag can carry 10 kilograms that means if you select these two items then uh, the total value returned it is 10 it is 10 that means what more than more than 8 see how it is possible now you can directly you can select one uh, example now you have five items one two three four five and weights are one two five six seven okay values are 1 rupees 6 18 22 and 28 and value per weight 1 by 1 1 6 by 2 3 18 by 5 3.6 2.2 .2 by 6 3 point, uh, 22 by 6 3.67 and 28 by 7 this 4 okay now this is a knapsack problem a knapsack problem using dynamic programming okay so weight you have to pass the weights are 1 2 5 6 9 okay 1 2 5 6 9 values are 1 6 18 22 28 1 6 18 22 28 and value per weight 1 3 3.6 1 3 3.6 3.67 and 4 okay now for i is equal to 1 to n see i 0 is equal to 0 for i is equal to 1 to n and for j is equal to 1 to n we have to use this particular these lines these steps okay now Okay, now we can see here uh, if W1 WI is more than W. Okay, so or W1 is more than W1 is what? W1 is what? 1 and 1. Now suppose you have to, you can carry 50 grams or 250 grams, but maximum, minimum items. And uh, the weight of the minimum item is 1 kilogram. So we can't take, so that's why it is infinite. We can't take this one. Okay. Are you getting this one? Suppose you can uh, carry, your carry bag can carry 25 grams. And minimum uh, item, item, a uh, single item is there. Its minimum weight is 1 kilogram. So we can't take the even minimum, uh, minimum item, minimum uh, weight item. Okay. So that's why it is infinite. Now if i is equal to 1 if i is equal to 1 that means you have if you are here that means you have only one item you have only one option to to select if you are here then then v c i j is equal to v1 okay v1 means what v1 is 1 means here we are entering the values you can carry not the weight so if you are if you have only what one option that means one item you have whatever maybe you can carry obviously you can select only this particular item okay so the whatever maybe your carry back can carry and you have only one option to select that is first item its value is one that's why all entries are one and it is possible through this particular line okay now if j is less than w y what is j now we can see here j varies here and i varies in this section okay now suppose uh, you are here you are here okay now suppose you are here you are here and you are here so here in this line second line now how to get this particular value or suppose you are here now 
what is i i is equal to 2 what is j j is equal to 1 now j is less than wi what is j j is equal to 1 and what is wi i is equal to 2 w2 is what 2 the condition is true then copy the previous one means ci minus 1 comma j what is ci i is equal to i is equal to 2 i minus 1 means what 1 comma 2 1 comma 1 what is 1 comma 1 1 now that means you have two options you have two items but your carry back can carry only one kilogram so obviously you can't select this particular item we have to select the previous item only are you getting the weight of first item is one second item is two kilogram but your carry back can carry only one kilogram so it is not possible to carry the second item the uh, carry back should carry back should select the first item only and its value is one so that's why you copy this particular value here similarly in this case also if you are here suppose you are here okay now suppose you are here your you have three options three items one kilogram two kilogram five kilogram but your carry back can carry only two kilograms so obviously you can't select this particular item and you have to copy this one similarly here also you have three items one two five but you can carry only three kilograms so obviously you can't select this one you have to select the value of this particular okay next suppose uh, we are here how to get this 19 or how to get this uh, 6 6 value so 6 value means what c 2 comma 2 so 2 comma 2 means what i is equal to 1 i is equal to 1 no j is less than w i what is j this is i this is j says j, w2 is what w2 is 2 and uh, w i w2 is 2 and what is w i w2 so this condition is also not true so execute this particular part okay so c i minus 1 what is i i is equal to 2 2 minus 1 is 1 comma w minus w i what is w w is equal to in this case in this case c2 comma in this case what is w w is equal to 2 so 2 minus w i what is w i w i is 2 so 2 minus 2 okay plus v i what is i here i is equal to 2 so sorry 6 okay now comma c i minus 1 c i minus 1 so c i what is i i is equal to 2 so c i minus 1 means what 2 comma 1 is 1 what is j j is equal to what is j here j is equal to um, 2 so what is now if you compare these two so c1 comma 0 plus 6 comma c1 comma 2 c1 comma 2 is what 1 and c1 comma 0 c1 comma 0 1 w minus w i w minus w i w i is what 2 2 minus 2 it is 0 so c1 comma 0 c1 comma 0 it is c1 comma 0 is 0 0 plus 6 6 comma 1 so we have to take the maximum value so 6 maximum value is what 6 so we have to enter this one similarly we can select suppose this one 18 here i is equal to 3 i 1 2 3 4 5 i values and j j is 5 so i is equal to 3 and j is equal to 5 so c 3 comma 5 means 3 comma 5 is 18 that means we have to check this one so c i minus 1 c this is, this is i this is j c 1 comma the weight minus weight is what 5 5 minus w <coughs> i so w3 is what w3 is 5 so 5 minus 5 5 minus 5 it is 0 plus plus v i what is v i i is equal to what v3 v3 is what 18 ok so 0 plus 18 it is 18 and what about the remaining c i minus 1 comma j what is i i is equal to 3 so 2 comma j 2 comma 2 comma 5 2 comma 5 is what 7 so from both 7 
so 18 and 7 maximum is 18 so that's why the value is 18 similarly you can check 28 c 1 2 3 4 5 c 5 comma 7 so 5 comma 7 means what you have to check this one so c 4 comma w w w is what 7 7 minus 7 minus 5 it is what it is 7 so 7 minus 7 is what 7 plus uh, 7 minus 7 say okay 7 minus 7 is 0 okay and plus vi vi v5 v5 is what 28 and the previous entry is what previous now this is nothing the previous entry it is 24 so 24 so 0 comma 28 comma 24 maximum is what 28 that's why it is 28 okay similarly we can select this one c c 5 comma 9 so c 5 comma 9 means what c 4 comma you may select this one or you may not select if you see i minus 1 means what you have selected this one so once you have selected it you have to reduce this weight so the weight 9 minus 7 9 minus 7 is what 2 plus weight vi v5 is what 28 or you, you may not select if you don't want to select this one so decrement i ci i minus 1 so ci i minus 1 entry is what 29 so this is 29 so c4 comma 2 c4 comma 2 is 6 so 6 plus 28 comma 28 that is 34 comma 29 and we have to take the maximum value okay so that's why the entry is what 34 28 plus 6 34 so out of these two with 34 is the maximum value 34. okay next here this is the algorithm through which we can identify what are the items we have to select okay now this is the algorithm through which we can say that what how, what are the items we have to select because this 35 indicates the value maximum value but we can't say what are the items we have to select so suppose uh, we are here okay while j greater than 0 so suppose j is equal to if you select this one so what is j j is equal to 9 okay while j greater than 0 yes condition is true i is equal to 1 now we are we are here the i value is what 1 2 3 4 5 i greater than 1 yes if c i comma j is equal to c i minus 1 comma j c i comma j means what c 5 comma 9 is equal to c 4 comma 9 c uh, i comma 9 is what 5 comma 9 is 34 4 comma 9 is 29 it is not true then select i that means what we have to select i i means what i is 5 we have to select i 5 decrement j so now j is what 9 w5 w i w 7 w i is 7 we have to so subtract 7 so the present i value is what uh, uh, present j value is 9 minus 7 it is 2 and decrement i so it is 4 i is equal to 4 once again j is greater than 0 yes i is equal to 1 no c i j is equal to c i minus comma j so what is c i j c 4 comma 2 is equal to c 3 comma 2 we have to check c 4 comma 2 1 2 3 4 comma 2 is what 6 is equal to c 3 comma 2 3 comma 2 yes condition is true decrement i now the present i value is 3 present i value is 3 still the j value is 2 once again check i greater than uh, j greater than 0 yes i is equal to 1 no else if c i j is equal to c i minus 1 comma j yes condition is true because c 2 comma 2 3 comma 2 is equal to 2 comma 2 yes so decrement i that means the present i value is 2 and present j value is 2 now we have to check i, I j is greater than 0 yes it is 2 i greater than i equal to 1 no c i j is equal to c i minus 1 comma that means c 2 2 is c 1 comma 2 now 
this condition is not true here okay so we have to execute this one we have to select i means what select i i is what select second item j is equal to w i then j is equal to what now j is 2 2 minus w i i is equal to 2 d2 is what w2 is what 2 2 minus 2 0 okay now the j value is 2 minus 2 it equals to 0 okay and decrement i i is equal to now 1 now once again j greater than 0 now the condition is false so that means we have to select one fifth fifth item we have to select and second item we have to select so fifth item value is 28 and second item value is 6 so 28 plus 6 that is 34 okay so fifth item is value is 28 and sixth item value is 6 so 28 plus 6 34 that's why it is 34 okay and that is the end of this particular video thank you very